Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Antarctica, issue number one. This is a book from Top Cow over at Image. Uh, let's take a look at the creative team before we get into this book. This book is written by Simon Burks with art by Willie Roberts, Lyndon White uh, on letters. Uh, we do have some uh, in interesting variant covers for San Diego Comic-Con, but I don't have any preview art for that. Uh, but let me give you a quick synopsis of this book. Uh, this is Stargate meets his dark materials in a new nonstop sci-fi action blockbuster. Now, that would be helpful if I was familiar with either of those properties. I'm a little bit more familiar with Stargate, but I don't, I didn't really see the connection in the first issue uh, of how it related to his dark materials because I'm not familiar with that. So unfortunately, that context was lost on me. Uh, but uh, Hannah's, Hannah's life imploded the day after her father failed to return from the secretive Smith Peterson research station in Antarctica. Alone and on the street, she is at her lowest uh, when a friend offers help. Retrained as an engineer, Hannah secures a job uh, at the same Antarctic station to search for her father and stumbles headfirst into a conspiracy that threatens everything she's ever believed in. Um, yeah, this book was very interesting, um, you know, because it really, for the first few pages, like for the, for the majority of this first issue, I was like, where is Antarctica and why are we not there? Uh, but I think it's because we want, you know, the, the creators want to make sure that we understand who Hannah is, where she's coming from, her background, the people that have affected her life, uh, and some of the hardships that she's gone through to get to where we really need her to be. Um, so I think that was really well done. It's a really efficient way to uh, bring up this character that, you know, it's completely new for the audience. Um, let's take a look at some preview art here. I love this first page, just, you know, the changing of the time, the seasons with the now, along with the narration. And just, you can see uh, little by little, Hannah just kind of giving up and her father coming back home. Um, and it, it's tough, right? I think it's tough and it's, um, something that definitely affected her and, and set her up on the path that she's on eventually. Uh, and she goes through some hardships, like really, really, really stuff that just pretty much could have ruined her life had it not been for, uh, the people that eventually interfered, uh, specifically this one individual. Uh, I think they have a really nice relationship. It's somebody who it's kind of a father figure, but, you know, it's still, I don't think anything will ever replace her father. Um, so it was a very way, it's a very good way to build up the character of Hannah, her motivations, and explain how we're going to get to where we are. Uh, we do eventually get to Antarctica in the first issue, uh, and it's definitely not what I expected, specifically looking at the last page. Uh, it was a really, really fun reveal, uh, or at least a setup for something that looks very interesting in the future. So really enjoy this. Um, you know, I don't normally uh, take a look at books like this because there's just so much stuff out there, but uh, the cover was really cool. Uh, and also the, the title really intrigued me. Like I wanted to know how Antarctica was going to be involved in this. And it is not what I expected at all, but it was still a very entertaining book. Uh, so yeah, if you have read this, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. As always, thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell. So, you know, when we go live, that is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here in the channel. And as always, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.